Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you and Jeezy ran into each, into each other at an airport. Damn, KF, you know it. See, you be talk. You do interviews with your friends. They bring up shit that you tell them. Nothing bad happened. No, they bring up shit that you tell them in confidence. I, I didn't know this was in confidence. We can edit it no, out. No, we don't. Nothing bad it. happened. Hey, it was nothing, a positive. Yeah, no, we don't edit shit when so, I come on here. Well, the last time you came on, we did edit a lot out. Well, yeah, because <laughs> I didn't want to go to jail. Uh, <laughs> but no, nah, but you guys ran into each other at the airport. What happened? Oh yeah, I seen him at the airport. That's damn. That's crazy, bro. It's the first this world premiere, nigga. But uh, <laughs> I see Jeezy at the airport uh, with his wife. I was with my girl, and um, I seen him. We shook hands and hugged, and fucking was just like, man, salute. It was just like, damn. It was like a relief wow. for like both of us. I feel like you know, it was like a hug. A, we exchanged numbers and we both got on a plane and that was it. That's a beautiful thing. That was it was. It was one of the most beautiful things ever. I it, think you can you officially know. put that behind you. Definitely. Like, I've been put it behind me, but I had to like you know like really. I had to see him. I had to like really be in to like really officially be at peace with. Correct. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it would. And then when you look back, man, there wasn't really nothing, man. I look. That was fucking a you know music disagreement. You know what I mean? Like I didn't really have nothing. You know. Um, Against Jeezy, I looked up to Jeezy. You know, what I mean, Jeezy, one of my favorite rappers. You know, what I mean, I learned a lot from him. I learned to, you know, really how to carry myself in this rap game by being around him. So, um, you know, I think that that was just a misunderstanding, miscommunication. Mm -hmm. um, it ain't like all of this other shit with these other little fuck niggas. When I see them, I'm slap the fuck out of them. You know what I'm saying? But with that, even you know, it'll be times where we'll be in the same places. All the time, it's the rap game, of course. Of course, but it wasn't nothing violent happen or no, or no shit like that, or or nobody was, you know, disrespecting each other too bad. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we we said things, but like for the most part, man, we both men, and I think that we was just both trying to just get our points across, and we just just communicated it badly. And uh, you know, I take the blame for that because I, uh, you know, I should have just like sat tight and just let my work speak for itself instead of like even like speaking on it publicly at all you know what i mean i think that what really what set me off is when they asked him about me publicly i wish he would have just deflected that and but then i took that shit too far and i you know i look at that situation as a, another learning experience yeah. yeah i mean as long as you get to learn from your fuck-ups man yeah definitely totally. i don't even say fuck-ups just your yeah, yeah that you was something that i hell. needed that was that was something that i needed in my career you know what i mean like i needed that um, that opposition, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? So, Almost like how Jordan would use like the littlest thing. I feel like you're very much like that because I know <laughs> the littlest shit that might not be directed at you, but sometimes you be taking shit personal. I'll take, I'll take everything. That really confuses me. <laughs> but you're very good at like taking the smallest little like just whatever somebody says or something that happens and you use that as like motivation. Somebody tweeted like, oh, somebody tweeted like, oh, I'm not they be like, this my shit going to be the... And I'll be like, I hear care. Like, man, you see this? You see this shit right here? And I'm just like... I feed off of it, man. Like, I'm competitive by nature, man. So it's like, I, I feel like I got to have something to... Not necessarily nobody or, or somebody in particular to, you know, go against. I don't need that. I just need some type of motivation. You know what I mean? Um, and, and maybe it, it, it don't always got to be a rapper that, that motivated me. It could be like... A record executive that mm. tell me that I ain't shit, you know what I'm saying, mm. or anything, or a bitch, or shit. My baby mama telling me I can't rap, all kind of shit like Your that. Your baby mama tells you that, huh? When they mad at me, but then when the songs come out, they be like, hey, I'm so yeah. proud of you. Yeah. I know you got the Grammy nomination. Yeah, yeah, they proud of me. I love them too. We all say shit that, about each other that we shouldn't say, but I love them though at the end of the day. 